What up? What's up, guys? It's Bishop. Um, with I'm 21, day four. Um, what a day. Um, I woke up today around 11.30, and I got ready to cut grass, my neighbors, and um, cut grass, made a little money, and um, I deposited that money because I need to start saving up if I get that apartment with Mike. Well, uh, I cut the grass. I didn't trim it, though. I swept. Um, he wasn't home after I cut it, and he needs to, like, let me in to, you know, plug in the cord for the trimmer. So, um, I didn't get the trim, but it's okay. He, you know, he paid me good, you know. He didn't pay me the full, which is understandable. Um, and then I was just, like, real tired. I, um, kind of moped around. I got ready for work, and then I took, like, a 30-minute power nap, and I never take power naps. I usually take, like, naps that two to three hours and then I can't sleep later that night well I took a power nap and uh, then I got ready for work I had to work tonight 4 to 11 work wasn't too bad um, you know it was pretty easy uh, I talked to a lot of customers I talked to this one customer around 10 o'clock um, for about a half an hour just about faith and stuff it was awesome um, yeah, work was good work was real good and I'm trying to think if anything crazy happened um, not too, oh, actually, something crazy did happen. I am not going to tell you what it is yet. I'll, I'll wait it out. I'll wait it out and show you guys in the future. Um, it's a reason why I, sh why I shaved yesterday. Ooh, keep you guessing, ladies. Um, so, uh, it has nothing to do with a girl. I just say that. I don't, I don't know why. I just think if I say it a lot, then it might actually, like, come true. Like, ladies might be after me. But I just say it now for, like, you know, I don't know why. So, just so you guys know. Um, but work, was, work wasn't work was too bad. Um, for the last hour, I was customer service booth and manager. So, that kind of gets stressful, you know. Some, sometimes customers ask some questions and at me in the customer service booth and I'll be like oh yeah and they're like you know what just get the manager out here you know they they get upset sometimes you know if their little broccoli bags open they get upset so I'll be like oh I'm sorry I am the manager on duty and they'll be like you're kidding they have like a 17 year old manager and I'm like easy tiger I'm 21 years old now anyway slight exaggeration but really not um, but work is good. Work was real good. And, um, it was fun. It's always fun working. And then after work, I went and hung out with my friend T for a little bit. Uh, we hung out for a few hours. And, um, it was, it was cool. Well, we, we talked. And that was fun. And then, um, we talked. It was like three hours. Three hours. Three hours, um, of talking and, you know, little things here and there. So, um, but it was good, it was good. I'm just, like, so drained right now in my life because it's, like, I don't know. I'm, like, a people pleaser, you know? And, and like, I have feelings, too, you know, I guess. And, um, sorry I haven't replied to any, like, YouTube private messages or anything. I've been that busy. I really have. Um, and so, and when I do these videos, it's, like, it's 2.54 a.m. You know, I just got home not too long ago, so... Um, I just need to get my feet on solid ground, you know? I think, you know, so many times, um, so many times people try to help others, but, you know, their feet's not on solid ground, so they're, like, trying to help others and provide them with information, but they need to, like, listen to that own information to help themselves before they help others. It's, like, where I'm at right now in life, but, um, I hope... I just hope I get a call to preach soon, like, or be the youth minister, that's what I mean, the youth minister soon, because, I mean, I'll, I mean, I want to finish college, and I will if I don't get a calling before then, but I just kind of want to, like, move away, have you guys ever felt that way, like, you guys just want to go away, like, I want to go to Maine, or something, just way up there, just, you know, just go away, new environment, start fresh, I would love that, oh, I would love that love that um but you know i'm blessed with what i have right now so i gotta keep a positive attitude and realize that 
Um, but yeah, so, you know, overall, great day. Great day. So, God is good. God is great. Um, the Bible verse of the day, I've read this before. I think I've read it several times. Is 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17. It goes, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, correction and for training in righteousness that the man of God may be competent equipped for every good work wow that's powerful okay a lot of times people try to argue against Christianity and say um, uh, or or even Judaism I guess sometimes but mainly Christianity for my sake like that's all I'm familiar with um, they're like you know what that's not real man wrote that and it was orally passed down and man wrote that and humans make mistakes right so therefore it all could be a mistake i tell them hey hey you read second timothy 3 16 to 17 and it tells you that all scripture is breath out by god god's word is exactly how he wanted it it's it's rock the word is god isn't it john 1 1 in the beginning was the word of god the word is god God is the word. I think that's like John 1.1. 1, 1. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's legit. You know, it is all breath. And it's for teaching. Where to teach the word of God. For reproof. For correction. If our, if our lives are, you know, not so well, we need someone to help correct our lives. Hey, here's the word of God. You're living this way. Let's correct it into that way. And it's for training in righteousness. We're, we're, we need to train each other. To be, you know, women in Christ and men of Christ. And the only way to do that is to go into the Word of God and say, Here, boom, right here, this is what happened. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. How do you need to live life? You need to live life like Christ. How do you do this, you may ask? Here, here's the Word of God. Read it. Really read it. And if, if people don't have the time to read it, just give them inspirational Bible verses, you know, daily. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need, to, we need to go to the Word of God in all times, in all needs, not just on highs, not just on lows, but constantly going through it. And we're training ourselves for correction in our life, but also training ourselves to help, to help others, to be accountable for others. You know, this is really serious. We really need the Word of God. And the Word of God, yes, is physically written by man, but it's God's breath, you know? It's how it is supposed to be. It's how it's supposed to be. It's amazing. It's perfect. It's flawless. And it'll always answer every question you have. And it relates to today. Many people say, ah, oh, that's outdated. That's an old book. It relates today. So, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, I will have a good day tomorrow. And I hope you guys do, do too, and you'll hear about my day if you want to. You don't have to watch these videos if you don't want. I think it's funny because like, I'll look back like three days ago and be like, man, look at, look at that guy, you know? He needs to lose some weight. Yeah, I think I need to lose some weight, but that's just me. But, uh, alright, I love you guys. You guys have a good evening. Thanks for watching my videos.